Yikes. <laughs> this is a mess. And this is why I haven't done the insulation yet because you need the time and the space to clear everything out and start putting this in. <laughs> uh, so let's get this all cleared out so we can get to work. the first panel taken off and I'm gonna have to use my little gaps and cracks to obviously fill that uh, but first I'm going to take my sealants and go around everything and while the sealant is setting up just a little I'm gonna take off this side so I can have the whole front done and then once I have the front done, then I can put the plywood back up. I am going to try to reuse as much as I can. I don't think I'm going to be able to reuse all of the trim, but that is totally fine. But these big boards I want to be able to reuse. Um, so I don't have to buy more wood because obviously wood is expensive right now. And yeah, so I'm going to try to just work one section at a time and since this was the smallest section I'm gonna get this done first and then go from there. Is it perfect? Absolutely freaking not. But, all right, is this perfect? Absolutely not. Is it going to be insulated? Absolutely yes. So I'm gonna put the walls back on now um, before all this gaps and cracks seals so it's nice and tight. along the edge and then there's a seam that I just sealed along and I'm about to put the insulation in and put this back up really quick so I can do the other side. all 
those pieces in. They're not perfect, but they're in, it's insulated. So I'm gonna put this piece back up so it's out of the way and then do the top because I have to cut out this part right here. All right, top layer is done and I can put the other one back up now. All right, this is all put back now, except for the trim, obviously. Um, and I even put the vent back in. And I just have one more wall left to go. All right, it is super windy today, so I didn't record this side. But all three walls are insulated. I have a ton of stuff to obviously clean up and take to the trash. Um, but everything on the ground level is completely done. Now I just have the roof, but I'm out of insulation because obviously I didn't want to overbuy. And I, this is all I have left, so that's pretty perfect. And then, yeah, we're going to start on insulating the roof next. So stay tuned. Okay, so I think at the end of each one of these videos, since they're all going to be as I do the work, I'm just going to go through with like my literal receipts of what I used, how I used it, and what it cost. I know these costs are going to change because we're in the middle of like crazy inflation right now, but as of right now, at the end of March, 2023 these were the prices i paid to do this i know a lot of you guys have mentioned on my previous two videos that you possibly want to do this and you want to know the costs I have a bigger budget for this project than maybe i would have a year ago two years ago but at the same time this is going to be my final upgrade for a little bit because i have some other goals i'm working on and so i'm just here to tell you what i've done if you want to just insulate and just paint the walls that cargo trailer is fully usable fully fully usable and i'm gonna like sneak peek i spent less than a hundred dollars on all the supplies to insulate the trailer and so if you wanted to just insulate and paint you can do this for like under 200 300 but i obviously am going to do a little bit more i've already ordered windows and stuff like that to turn this fully into a usable camper but here let's just jump into what we did so what i chose to use as insulation is just four by eight foot polystyrene polystyrene you saw it in the video it's literally just foam board that is super inexpensive i got four sheets of insulation this was the cheaper option i am not four season camping in this trailer i don't four season camp in my car so i don't know why i would do it in the trailer i say pretty average temperature level all year round it obviously gets a little bit hotter in the summer but it definitely doesn't usually get cooler since i stay in the southwest in the winter and so i was not looking to like bulk up this insulation by like a ton i just wanted something so when the sun was shining on it it wasn't just like baking me and if I did decide to run a heater inside it wasn't just escaping outside of the walls. I got four sheets of that insulation. I got two sheets that were one inch thick and I got two sheets that were half an inch thick. Both of them were four by eights and that's what covered all three walls. So I double layered in places that the wall allowed it and only put that half an inch where there were some other fixtures vents or wires or things like that that i didn't want to crush and i know there's probably a different way to do it but this is how i chose to do it because i'm doing it on my own and i want to be able to also remove it if i need to and get in there with electrical in the future or something like that that's why everything isn't just like completely cemented down with a ton of tape and cracks and gaps and all of that stuff i did get one can of the gaps in cracks because of that front nose being exposed a little bit more and obviously I don't want anything to be able to get in the trailer like rodents or mice or anything like that through those spaces so I did fill the front nose of the trailer and I will probably fill some of the ceiling as well after I get that but for now just with the walls I did not fill every single white space I am not that concerned about it so if you want to fill every single space and do it like a professional go ahead I'm not a professional I'm showing you the reality of somebody doing it on their own so there you go so i did get two things of sealant it's just tight bond translucent 
translucent sealant because you can use it on metal and those were six dollars and 78 cents a piece i had to buy a utility knife so that was four dollars and 28 cents i had to actually get the actual caulking gun um, and that was four dollars and 30 cents and then the sheets of the actual insulation were fifteen dollars and 68 cents and nine dollars and 68 cents and then i got two of each so that totaled out at 31 36 and 19 36. And then of course I got a Red Bull while I was there and that was $6.96. And so my total with tax and I'm in California so the taxes are a little bit higher. And so my total was $96.75 inflation really hit Red Bull. I could have done without that probably, but I needed the energy. So yeah, so this is the breakdown of what I used in this video and I will continue to do it for each video um, as I progress along and give you a breakdown. I hope this helps for people and I'm putting it here at the end. So if you don't care about that and you just want to watch what I'm doing, that's fine too. So I hope this helps and I am working on the roof vent and the roof insulation and the windows next. So that's what's coming up. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.